I'd like you to continue the game. Maybe not this file, though. Yeah, okay. Let's let's give Underwater Town a go. Um, it should work. Uh, this is going to take a little bit of time. Um, I'm not going to customize names immediately. Okay, so we're going to be the Ascendancy because they're a little bit easier, and it's going to be Temperate because it's got more water. And let's just do it on normal, though. I mean, it's halfway tempted to just go on pure creative. And I'll rename these guys when, when I'm in here later. Okay. So. Yeah, I usually start with the farmer start, and I think the farmer start is probably the best. Maybe. No, you know what? Screw it. Let's, let's try Merchant Caravan. Just number everyone. Oh, I don't think I could have found a better start for for underwater town. Settle here. Oh my god, I, I, is this gonna work? It might work. All right. Well, oh, actually, you know what? Maybe this will be the last run. Maybe we will actually put a little bit more time into underwater town. Uh, can I really? Are you serious? Okay, well, I should probably put it on the side nearest this, because I'm gonna wanna I'm gonna wanna get over there for raw resources and a couple other things. Uh, we got a nice big field. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so we got underwater town. This is a thing I am doing. Alright, can I do... Okay. So I have to do... Almost immediately, we gotta get, uh, we gotta get some hunting going. Real quick. Uh, I guess... This guy will have to be the hunter. Looks like I should be able to get to trapping rather quick. Okay, he's got it, and I'm just going to put a couple of trapping points here, and we got to get a series of ladders. I cannot believe the fact that there is actually no regulation on the, on this. You, you really think this game would just be like, now hold on, your people are starving. They actually have swimming animations, which makes this better. <laughs> If they do drown, I'm going to be really amused, but I'm kind of hoping they won't. Okay, uh, let's see. So let's have... You... You get to be my carpenter. Uh, let's see. You... Get to be my warrior. Not sure if we need a war uh, warrior or carpenter immediately. Okay. And you get to be my herbalist. Okay, so I do have a carpenter. Uh, so I'm getting that set up. Let's harvest some trees up on the surface. Because we're going to need a couple of things. Looks like I should almost immediately be able to roll into uh, farming, actually. Which will be nice. Oh my god, this is working. Alright. Well, let's start with, uh, tiny cottages. Actually, let's remove this. So, we already know for a fact we're only gonna get attacked by this... I actually don't know if anything's ever going to attack me here. Um... Yeah, so I might... I might build... A little bit away from that side. So I'm just gonna start by building a couple of tiny cottages. Now let's see. Herbalist Hall, Carpenter's House. We might as well get this down early. Same thing with the herbal Herbalist House thing. <laughs> Welcome to Dwarf Lantis. Ah, shit. I should have renamed my town to that. Can I Can I change it? Nah. No. God damn it. 
Dwarf Lantis would be amazing. Or Globville or, yeah, Underwater Town was kind of a lame name. Oh, well, I'll deal. Okay, uh, let's see. So we gotta, we gotta get a carpentry bench down and, oh, okay. So we've got a little bit before I, um... I've got a little bit before I can... Do anything with this. Oh, right. Should probably get a stockpile down. I'll just toss it over here. That should make this easier. So we might run into starvation, which is concerning. If we can get that, uh, that bench made, that'll make this easier. I can't wait until <laughs> we have an underwater um, fire pit. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, so I'm just going to put this down early. Well. I really wish I could actually, uh... Just plonk it down, but I guess we'll have to plonk it down there. I think they do move slower underwater. That is the one issue that I'm looking at. That these people do move, like, a fair bit slower as a result. Well, that's fine. I mean, this is a, a stupid, stupid thing that I am doing. So let's just craft, like, 20 small crates. Because they don't move that much slower. Okay, so food is going to be a serious problem. Oh, hello. Speaking of food... Jackpot. I'd like to move them in, but... Okay, so... Speaking of, I'm just going to make him, uh, her do her job, at least for a little while. Unfortunately, everybody's tired. I guess maybe it takes some effort. Okay, so we have a level one trapper, so we at least have some meat. I guess I might as well increase my trapping zones for a little while. Because if I don't, we're probably going to starve. Trapper, unfortunately, is is kind of, in part, a merchant profession, and we're going to need, uh... We're going to need a trader to roll by with some food, otherwise we're going to starve. Well, that's okay. Let me see. Unfortunately, it looks like everybody else is kind of busy gabbing and... Oh, they're building right now. I'm going to make it so one of these guys will not build. Okay, so we have Carpenter level 1. Not enough, though. Yeah, we only have six edibles left because these guys are dumb. Yeah, unfortunately, they're prioritizing getting the... Actually, I'm going to make it so nobody is building for at least a little while. It's kind of a... It's kind of a wash. I guess if I had wanted this to succeed, probably, I, w I wouldn't have chopped down all the trees immediately. And, uh... I would have prioritized getting those... I would have prioritized getting the berries out here. Because nobody is prioritizing getting these berries because the AI is kind of daft. Actually, let's change uh, Jaren's job back to worker for a little while. It'll take some time before we, we get attacked. Yeah, they're just grabbing all the... they're just grabbing all the wood. 
Can the carpenter make the uh, hoe yet? No. Very close. Okay, so we still have the order to make the 20 small crates, but... She don't care. Oh, at, at least they are... At least they are harvesting the berries. That's good. Daily update. We do have some food. That's good. I'm just gonna tell them to harvest these, too. Because, yeah, if they live long enough, we actually get quite the, um... We get quite the early game boost. Let's see. You don't make a hoe, you can buy one. Unfortunately, I haven't had a single merchant roll by. Which is the hard part. But yeah, I'm gonna replace the ladders with stairs. I think maybe it'll make life... Uh, make the ascent faster? I don't really know. It looks like we're doing... It looks like we're, we're doing okay, though. I, I was worried for a moment, but the, the berries are saving my ass. Really wish I understood this. Oh, hello. Okay, Jaren, change jobs, back to warrior. Go get your sword. Oh! Oh no, the monster... The monsters really will attack them. Okay, so monsters will come underwater. Did he get his sword though? He did. Okay, so I will have to, uh... I will have to, uh, prioritize leaving at least one... one fighter here. Okay, let's turn off defense mode, and we're good to go. I don't think monsters are slowed underwater. Yeah, that's, that's bad. I mean, luckily we know they will only ever attack from one location. So that's actually kind of helpful. Oh, thanks for the resub, Beanles. Okay. So we're doing fine. Has our carpenter leveled up yet? <sighs> She's so close. I wonder, what, if I can get up to a tree farm, I could very well actually never have to leave the water. Oh man, that would be amazing. <laughs> I'll post the word moist on every video of this you'll post. Go for it. Um, yeah, once we get the tree farm, we don't actually have to leave the water for anything. I'm really curious. I mean, honestly, I, this is kind of like pulling teeth. The fact that everybody moves really slowly underwater is only going to get more frustrating. Is there any manner of buildable structure that the enemies can't destroy? Yeah, walls. They actually, as far as I can tell, they will only destroy uh, craftable creations. They won't actually destroy, like, um, buildings and whatnot. And enclose the spot they will always attack from. Also, no. Sadly. Alright. Looks like we're we're doing fine. Uh, I'm gonna make it so people can build again. Oh, good. We can uh we can go to the workshop and we can get a farmer so. I'll get two just in case. And then I'm going to delete the small crates, because we really need the large ones. And boy, do we need the large ones. Let's go with, like, ten. Yeah, this is a neat idea. I don't know if I'm going to do a full run of this. I mean, if anything, I'd, I'd just load up po Podcastopia or something. Huh. <sighs> oh, it's working out. I guess they move at about the right pace. I guess what I could do is actually just build like a, a f like a fort around. Yeah, 
Okay, that's what I might do. I'm, I'm probably going to put walls around the, uh, the way down. We do need some beds, though. Well, these people will just continue to be depressed for at least a little while while we get everything sorted. Okay, uh... Has she made it? Yes. If she's made a large crate, then... We're golden. Who's my crappiest person? I actually have a bunch of, like, kind of more combat-oriented combat -oriented people. Well, I mean, stats probably don't matter that much. Okay. I guess one thing I could do... Do I want to do that? Have the crops growing in the center? No. No, that looks kind of bad. I just don't know where to grow it necessarily. I guess we'll do it over here next to its storage. I think I missed. There we go. So that's turnip, that's carrot, that's pumpkin. All right. So we actually have uh, farming underway. Okay, next up. Do these guys pass through one size or two? I guess I'll do that and we'll find out. Daily update. Where are they going? I have no idea. Oh, are we out of wood? Or maybe we're out of food. Yeah, it looks like we're out of food. So they're heading for the berry bu bushes. Or they're just in a blind panic. Could be a bit of both, really. Yeah, we should probably move the berry bushes. Uh... I'm gonna start... Attempting to relocate the berry bushes down here. Because if we actually have them local and available, then they're not going to have to travel as far while we wait for farming to get, it, get set up. Uh, is that... I don't actually know if that's good spacing. Well, luckily I can always uh, re like move them back around at a later date. Let's see. Yeah, it's nice to see that they will actively like move. Well, not move, but they will. Instead of doing the uh, life in bunker thing where they just they just starve, uh, they will actually go out and like look for food. This game really does actually remind me of Life and Bunker, which was a game I played uh, a while back. The series did fairly well, but honestly, the game was bad. The game was bad. Um, but that was that was the game where like, if you just minorly blocked somebody in, they would just they would just die. I I had a, a chef die at his station because he refused to cook because he was too uh, he needed to pee really bad. Okay. <laughs> I go finish up my TNT and I find Wander in the freaking lake. Hell yeah. See, how much short leave did my people get? Too much, if you ask me. Soon, uh, w once, once we get those, uh, once we have a sufficient farming, uh, I'm actually just going to close it off and we're just going to refuse all entry... All entry. Atlantis's uh, gates will close, and then I will—I uh, will never have to worry about invaders ever again. I really wish I could actually uh, automate this specific process, but I guess it's not that big of a deal. 
How many references of this will we see in Grave of Man? I'm actually halfway tempted to um, turn Cave Town and uh, and Dwarf Lantis. Oh my god. Holy shit. The po Okay, I, I don't know how I'm going to integrate this. But I think... I think Dwarf Lantis is going to be like a, a literal, like an actual location. I don't know how it's going to work, but we are going to have the party stop in at Dwarf Lantis somewhere, somehow. I gotta like write this down. And I, I, I do not know how it's going to work. But the concept of this happening is just too, too perfect. The only problem is, uh, Alarin. Uh, so if you don't, if you're watching this and you don't know, uh, I run a D&D &D campaign, and it's really good fun. Uh, and since I make everything custom, I can afford to drag the party to some weird places to do some weird things. And if you haven't seen it yet, please go watch it, because it's super fun. Um... Uh, but so specifically, uh, they're in the elemental plane of Earth right now, and I'm halfway tempted to have them go to the elemental plane of water in a, a little while, and just have it be Dwarf Lantis. That would have to be like some kind of weird side campaign. Uh, like just more or less parroting the uh, Disney Atlantis movie. I think this actually would be a terrible idea, but uh, you know, some kind of weird parody campaign. Where they have to find the uh, the mystical city of Dwarf Lantis uh, for something or other. Shell should have bonus interactions with the Dwarf Lantians. I almost feel like uh, she should have negatives because Dwarf Lantians are probably racist. Have them wander th through some runes that are actually Dwarf Lantis. Oh, dude, I could actually put Dwarf Lantis in a uh, in the elemental plane of Earth. And have it be really weird. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. I I really... I don't know. Okay, the monsters are slowed down. Actually, the monsters are slower than me. Uh... Where's my fighter? Oh, there he is. He doesn't even give a shit. Oh, it might have something to do with, um... Verticality here. Where was he? That's really confusing. Okay. Well, let's get rid of that. Uh, we need to get an herbalist going. Because, yeah, the sooner we get a cleric, the better. Oh, he was hauling bushes. I actually forget that they will haul... Uh, fighters will haul stuff, because they spend most of their time... Uh, they spend most of their time just... Patrolling. So I get really confused when they actually... Do haul things. Oh, well, we're getting there. Pretty soon we'll ha we'll start having some new people roll in. We've already got the bushes. We've got those. Really, it's just wood. That we're limited on. And honestly, if I just chunk down a bunch of these bigger trees... Maybe we'll be okay. Okay. Yeah, the one problem with this is... This almost seems like the sort of thing that I should just, like... Come back to in an hour. But I can't really do that. Because... I've played the early game of this way too much. And so, like, I want to get to the end game, but the end game is busted to all hell. So it's like, well, I could just... Probably just wait. Oh, cool. 
We've got four more bushes here. Didn't even notice them. At some point, I'll relocate them properly. Oops. Am I? Yeah, I'm lining them up good. Okay. I'm mildly concerned I'm going to mess this up. I hate it when things are slightly off kilter. Unless I really, like, am trying to go for a more, more chaotic layout. Okay, there we go. So this is... This is really, really cool. Stupid. Probably one of the stupidest things I've ever done. But it is really cool. Okay, so I should be able to put down the herbalist bench. And let's also get some more of these large crates down. I'd like to have a vault at some point. I guess that's going to be the one issue. If, if I... Well, we could actually have... We could mine all the way into the mountain from here. Are we crazy enough to try? So if I do slice, what happens? Eh, slice works regardless of the water level. <laughs> this is going to take some doing. I don't even know what's going to happen. What I might see is if I can uh, dig up a little bit. Because if I can actually uh, dig up and out of the water, that might work better. Can you drain the lake by adding uh, tunnels? I don't think there's water... I don't think there's... Uh, there's water physics in this game. I think I think it would freak out if I tried. I'm just happy we don't have to worry about food. I just realized the rooftops will just be sticking out of the lake. <laughs> oh, this is like the dumbest thing I've ever done. I wonder if I can actually... Oh, I, I should try this. Okay. I really wish there were such a thing as like arches. Well, I guess what I could do... I'll just build it here. How do we know when it's above the water level? Actually, I can count. So it looks like the water level goes here. So one, two, three, four... Shit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's like eight or nine. Okay, he does look like he's fighting. So we've got six. Okay, so I've got... 10. Yeah? Yeah, so we got 10. Alright, then we're going to do a foundation. Which is going to be... We're just going to do a 14 by 14. You really can't get underneath things in this game, can you? That's unfortunate. I was kind of, like, really hoping that we could. Okay. Yeah, it works. Unfortunately, eyeballing these things is harder than it looks. So I'm just going to make a, a basic box. This is to test some layouts and whatnot. It looks like we're still doing okay. 
I was worried for a moment that we were going to get uh, gank squatted here. But I think we're all good. Okay, finished editing, build. And I'll just have a ladder going up, up to the top of this. Hopefully it'll be above... Uh, We're still under attack? Doesn't look like we are. Maybe it's just the music still gone. Okay, well, I've got a... I've got an herbalist. The music's still playing. We might actually have, like, a glitched out critter that's trying to get at me. Okay, the tenth would be laying on top of the water. That's probably what I'm looking for here. Okay, awesome. This is what we need. So we gotta do... Bright Bell. Silkweed. And Frost Snap. I don't actually know if we need all of them. Do we have enough? Not enough net worth. We need one more person. Ah, Rugged Survivalist with her wares. That's actually exactly what I need. Uh, because it's going to be a little while before I can make any leather. Uh, let's see. I guess I'll just sell some of the basic, like, jerky meat that I got. Okay, so the Goblin Thieves will die. Yeah, it doesn't look like uh, we have much to worry about from them. Looks like they're going for my stocks, but that's not that's not dangerous. Okay, perfect. So this is, this is going to turn out the the way I want it to. What is fighting me? Oh. It's because the goblin camp is right here. I was wondering about that. Yeah, so we had epic battle music because they're right next to my harvesting zones. Well, that's fine. Yeah, we need to we need to get some more people. Uh so I can get another fighter, and I can get another farmer, because I'm going to need both. Oh. That is okay. You know something you like RimWorld better? I mean, RimWorld is probably the better game, but I love this game visually so much more. It's so much easier to take a look at stuff. Oh, wow. Trapper level 4 already. Unfortunately, uh, to get a Shepherd's Crook, we're going to need a much higher level Carpenter. Well... Let's keep making large crates. Oh. Might as well preemptively make a number of these things, seeing as. Uh, let's get that shield, too. Because we're desperately going to need it along the way. Okay. Yeah, so what I want to see is if, if they finish this building, can I farm on top of it? Because I like the idea of, of uh, Dwarf Lantis. But if I could have Dwarf Lantis on top of a lake, that's even better. Because if I can, like, farm on top of this, or Golden, I don't think we're going to, and I'll probably just destroy it. But yeah, I, I'm like, I'm toying with the idea of continuing with this, just because people seem to enjoy it. I think I'm just kind of burnt out on Stonehearth, because I was playing a whole bunch of this earlier. Vaders are approaching. Okay, while we're at it, change jobs. I never made that extra sword. Well, he looks like he's doing fine. I guess I'll do military. I don't. I never know which one to win with. Put up merchant stalls if you can't farm. 
No, I can farm. I just want to see if I can farm on top of this. No, I can't. Okay. So yeah, my people could live above the surface of the water. But it's not worth it. Okay, so I'll just destroy that. Uh, let's see. How many more healing tonics can you make? Not much. So I can already make some of those. Let's take a look. I'm just gonna keep putting these down. So it looks like we have to have a space of two between every crate. No, I don't. They will they will go through spaces of one. Well that's handy. Yeah, so I'm fairly certain these guys are feeling kind of depressed. Well, we'll get there. I just need some more people to make this work. But yeah, I am uh I I think I'm kind of burning out on, on this game specifically for today. Which I mean really isn't like that big of a deal. I just need a short break. Which I guess Grave of Man will be a, a very solid break. <laughs>